New at 11 tonight, Eyewitness News is tracking sharks. There were two reported shark sightings at two New England beaches last week, prompting officials to ban swimming there. And this is not the first time, so what's the best way to make sure sharks are actually in the water? I went to find out. Sharks are the balance keepers, the lions of the ocean. We've seen more of them in the last few years. Great whites off the coast of Cape Cod. That's why we went searching the high seas. We're getting ready to go onto the big old surge boat looking for a great white shark. To get a first-hand look at how scientists are tracking sharks. Are they really here because of the seals, or were they always here? Chris Fisher, expedition leader and founding chair of O-Search, tells me one of the goals of the research is to keep swimmers and boaters safe. Having all this new data, getting a handle of the rhythm of the shark's life. When does it arrive here? Or when does it depart here? What is it doing here? Where is it when it's not here? Once we understand that, then we can use that data to make usage decisions on the ocean. The team of scientists will be out here for six weeks on Cape Cod learning everything about sharks, a shark that could weigh anywhere between two and 7,000 pounds. And it's not something you would get in any textbook. Once a white shark comes near the contender boat, which is baiting the predators, it's coming through. the O-Search begins the process of preparing to get the animal on board. <laughs> The lift is raised, then lowered into the ocean. This is video from last year's shark tagging. After the shark takes the bait, the contender boat leads it to the main vessel, and the shark is brought onto the lift for a team of scientists to examine. Usually scanning uh, specific quadrants of the body cavity to identify whether or not the animal's pregnant. We'll take blood samples. We'll actually uh, start tagging at that point as well. We put an acoustic tag in the abdominal cavity of the shark. We'll take a tissue sample. We'll look for parasites. Dr. Greg Skomel tells me scientists have 15 minutes to conduct the 12 tests before releasing the shark back into the ocean. How does it live from day to day in the Atlantic? And the kinds of tags we're putting on, the kinds of data we're collecting will give us a nice comprehensive look of, of the biology of this animal. And with that vital information, researchers will be able to determine if the predators of the sea are getting close to area beaches. And despite all the work, scientists have been able to tag a white shark this summer. Chris Fisher tells me even though they tagged sharks last year, the predators are still very nervous. They're not used to being baited off the Cape.